afternoon, good evening, or good morning, or whichever time, or probably you know wherever you are listening to us right now or watching us. How are you doing? Welcome to the entertainment review segment on how to have fun TV right here. Okay, my name is Mickey, and before now, I used to be the guest, but you know, um, there's this saying that um, I decided to give him a try. Can you just let me finish? There's this saying that the only constant thing in life is change and the tide has turned. Alright, so I'm hosting today. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Mickey again, aka and he's on probation. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got with me Debbie. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Looking at you, I'm kind of um I don't want to say something like something crazy. As I'm looking at I you. I put now, you on probation, so I'm watching how your things go about it. And I think I'm doing well because I'm not lazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. That brings us to President Muhammad Buhari's comment on Nigerian youth being lazy. What do you guys think? Do you think Nigerian youth are actually lazy? Like, uh, because so many artists, so many actors have come out to say, mm. What is this man saying? Like, how can you say Nigerian youth? Like, the thing has caused so much reactions on social media. And, and and it's just been everywhere. People have said all sorts of things. You even have people who, who decided to go out of their way to take pictures. And, and, and they have comments like, how can you talk about youth? See these youth, they are actually hawking, selling this, selling oranges, selling, you know, selling water, selling everything, doing everything possible to make a living. And then they are Nigerian, they are presidents. And in quotes, Nigerian lazy or lazy Nigerian president has come out to say that his own citizens are lazy. What do you guys make of that? What are your thoughts? You think we are? You think youths, Nigerian youths, are actually lazy, doing nothing? Because really, there are a lot of persons who put in a lot of effort every day to make sure that they earn a living. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget you can still get to share your thoughts, opinions, and uh, you know whatever you think. On our social media platforms, it's on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. It is how to have fun entertainment. Let's get to get your views. And of course, um, if you really think Nigerian youths are lazy, tell us. And of course, probably give us some reasons anyway. Now, I'm talking about Nigerian youths, um, Big Brother Niger, who, you know, definitely gets to be wrapped up on Sunday. So, what do you make of the show so far? I think there's been a lot of controversies in the house, especially CC. I can't get enough of CC. I've seen CC everywhere. I've seen CC guitars. I've seen a post where um, someone wrote. Um, I've, I've seen a post about how Nigerian, uh, the Nigerian movie industry, would say something about uh, CC. CC I, I think it was CC guitars part one and two. Definitely um, get how, to, how to be beat out. We'll definitely get to see CC. CC, <laughs> like, probably one of these. Part one to four. CC in the beta city, as in. I'm like, how do I know, I know Nollywood definitely will give us something about CC, but I don't know the name they're going to give it. Probably. Uh, I've seen a lot, trust me. Yeah. I actually see. I actually saw a comedy skit mm -hmm. where they were trying to advertise how you can, how to be unhappy. Yeah. So it was uh, this man. This this man. <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm trying to remember how the old thing. But well, you know the thing. The, the, the thing is. The thing is. Cici actually deliberately did what she did. Because if she yeah, didn't exactly do that, you would be here talking exactly about Exactly my point. So, I, I I feel like Cici's um, attitude mm -hmm. is the publicity stunt. I think she's the most popular. Right now, yeah. she is. She's trust me, she is. Of the, all the you may not like her, you may not like her attitude. Excuse mm. me, everyone there is out to get the money. And we have to do something just one like, way or the other. Just like, like T-Boss. Yeah, T-Boss. Toby, I think Toby, some people have been accusing Toby of um, emotionally dealing with Sissy. And yeah. some people have been saying Sissy should have been able to, you know, contain all of those things uh, Toby throws at her. Knowing fully what most times, most times Toby does them intentionally right? because to be probably once okay, you guys should just see the kind of animal. Probably, I'm sorry, I used that word. You guys should see the kind of pre uh, person, person they're putting in this house. Okay, just watch and see what I'm gonna do. See, see, da, 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 and before you know it, don't forget she also has an intention, and the intention is to be controversial. Well, well, well. who do you think is the most annoying husband? 
right now, for me, I think it is CC. I'm not rooting for anyone. <laughs> and please, don't hold me to my words. Why are you giving me that look? Well, personally, I'm not rooting for anyone, but I, I don't think I don't think a female is going to win. I think it's going to go to either. Really? Really, I, I am like I said, I'm not rooting for anyone, so I don't know who mm -hmm. um, will go. Going by uh, those left in the house, you have Toby, right? Miracle. You have Miracle, Nina. you have Nina, you have Alex. Cindy, you have Alex. Mm -hmm. Alex to me seems like a very smart pick. Alex. And yes, she's I feel like she's hold on, you know who Alex is? No, chill. When I mean smart, now. smart sweet now. You, you know, know there are different levels of being smart. You know who is smart. Alex. Man. Chill now. There are so different levels of being big smart. Which season of the Big Brother are you watching? Are you sure you're not watching that? Of Alex is the one with his spiral giraffe head. <laughs> but I think um, if she... You know why uh, I'm saying that? Mm -hmm. Because compared to other people, mm. Alex has her own thing going on for her. What thing exactly? Like, she's just trying to be herself. Okay. She's, so not, every other, every, she's not particularly. Every, I wouldn't say every she's other particularly is not being themselves. Being, Are you saying no, that no, no, no. kind of faking it? Mm -mm. My point is, she's not particularly trying to be controversial. Mm. And she's not particularly trying to be a man pleaser. But she's can, I, just, can I also tell you that people think that she's the weakest in terms of you know, votes and stuff? I, and votes are the lowest. Assigns votes, I think yeah. people actually think Nina is the weakest. I did a survey. Let's even talk about Nina. There was a comment she made that I don't even know what I'm going to do with my life after here. And I'm like, jeez, Big Brother, did you guys actually... I know what she feel like. <laughs> <laughs> like, she, she was having a conversation with Sissy. I was like, um, Sissy was talking about her plans after the house. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this, do that. And she was like, I don't even know what I'm going to do. In fact, I need people to come and help me. I was like, jeez. If... I just told myself if this babe were to be my sister, I'll just this this brother. I've heard, this sister, I've heard a whole lot of things about Nina. But well, I think I've heard a whole lot of comments about Nina. Like, anyways, let's 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 just keep watching, anyways. Cause let's not forget that the platform is it's not a small one. Yes. Whatever it's, happens. Whatever you say yeah. is is um, is like uh, it's uh is, is sort of. No, not irrelevant. Well, well, maybe irrelevant. Sure. But it has a role to play eventually mm. when you get out of the house. I, I, I'm not talking about it what they. I'm not, I'm not talking about what they say. I'm talking about what we outside here. Say. Oh, okay. Like okay. she's going it's to irrelevant. Like that. Yeah, the sure, platform sure, is sure. there, and of course, uh, if she's able to get people that actually support and of course share same dreams with her, and I'll probably we'll definitely see. We might just be surprised. Nina might just turn out to be the biggest. Because even as house. much as people think she is quite weak. Mm. She still has stayed till the finals. Kudos to Miracle anyway. I think I have to give Kudos to Cece and her controversial issues. No, kudos to Big Brother for actually pairing them from the start. Because if yes, aside that true. pairing, I think Nina would have been the first housemate to leave the to house. To leave, yeah, yeah. She has um anyways, let's just keep watching now. <laughs> Let us in on your thoughts on all our social media platforms, how to have fun entertainment. Don't forget it is still how to have fun entertainment reviews. Like I said, let us in on what you think of uh, CC, Nina, whichever of them you think basically might win. Brother. Basically, Big Brother in general. Yeah, Just yeah. let us in on on your thoughts on our social media platforms on Twitter, Facebook, as well as Instagram, and of course, YouTube. I think you should actually. Um, if there's going to be another Big Brother next, I think you should give it a shot. Both of us say that. All right. What if they change it and probably say, okay, it's no longer number one, but it's three, four, and they will pay you, me, oh and Sissy. What? <laughs> what? I'm dead. No! <laughs> All right, moving ahead. Um, you know, the, the still um, the entertainment review right here. Sweetly, shall DJ uh, Abichi has died at the age of twenty eight. Yeah, very sad story. Very sad. Died today, and of course, um, you know, when I hear people die at that very young very age, age. I'm just, I'm, I'm just like, just starting out. I'm just like, wow, what is this world turning into? These are people that have got dreams and aspirations, and they're just like, okay, when I'm, when I'm gonna get married. Well, like me, that doesn't want to go with Sorry, I didn't say that. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back in this to the entertainment reviews right now on how to have fun entertainment. Don't go nowhere, don't move a muscle. We'll be right back, of course. It's gonna be the movie review. If you're interested, stick around. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, welcome back. Welcome back. Lights, camera, action.
superstars, superstars, superstars out. What would become of a talent without a platform to showcase it? What would become of a passion for movies, music or entertainment without an avenue to explore it? And what would become a good act in script writing, acting, makeup or realizing that dream of being a member of a creative crew without an avenue to explore it? Nothing, the answer is simple. With How To Have Fun Entertainment and Rolandsky Media Studio, that dream of being in the limelight and becoming a superstar is just one step away. Call on 0903 338 3239 or 0708 63 98970 to be part of the team. Powered by How To Have Fun Entertainment and Rolandsky Media Studio. That's what's up. She's been all over the place today, like I don't know why. How is it doing you? I know why are you, are you enjoying my call. Yeah, I'm going to go uh, supervise the activities in my empire. That's an empire. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the movies now. We're starting off with uh, though the movies are already in cinemas they went they came up uh, in cinemas on the thirteenth of April. Thing, yeah. yeah. And of course, it is a uh, divorce with a loud movie directed by Mike, Mike Israel. It's about um, young people. Marriage. I can't wait to get to the cinemas actually and see the movie. Yeah, and of course, um, sorry uh, for, for those guys, if you know you don't have a cinema in your city, we're really, really sorry. Yeah. Any people sorry? Yeah. The cinema world, you know, you guys are still crying. I know you're staying in. Sorry, sorry stop crying. The Lord will answer your prayers, Sorry, now. I don't have a high kill that But I won't give you that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, now the movie is um, about young people and married. She's going to get over it. Right? Young people and married, and of course, it's actually. Can we get this <laughs> it's actually about young people that married. It's a comedy movie. I like it. Come on, so trust me, you're going to love it. Seriously. I saw the trailer. I'm like, like oh my god, I must see this movie. It's like, movie. it's amazing. Yeah. Like, I love the concept. I love everything about it. I love the the, the actors. I love the actresses. Talking about the actors and actresses in Yola Badmas. Yes. Angela Kuri. Angela Kuri's heart cracked me up. You have Iyabo Ojo. I might be those really babes, those babes, yeah, those babes are there's something else. Like there, there was this part where she was supposed to go out with her husband. You mm -hmm. know when you have this very tush man and then you're the village woman in the family. Serious. And then you guys are supposed to go out and then she just came with this plenty eye pencil and scarf. So it's not eye pencil, it's eye pencil. Okay. Eye pencil and scarf and and wrapper. And then she just came and said, My husband, let's go. And I'm like and, and the, the husband was shocked. I'm like, okay, where are you going to dress? He said, let's go like this. Like this. Like, okay. And then I was that part where she said that she was going to take uh, a Didi Jolo yeah. as dessert. Like that guy. Well, I'm talking about the movie. I think I think that's like good looking out to my case already. Yeah, like yeah. One. He also said that um, he's not a fan of buffoonery, but so he decided whatever. To but the most important thing is uh, there should be a message. And of course, sure, there is actually. Good looking out to him on mm -hmm. that one. And of course, moving on, uh, there's another movie, and of course, this is a foreign movie for the foreign people like me. You know, I'm a foreign guy. You know, I'm a foreign. If you're really foreign, you know, you don't have to pronounce it. People just you know. Deadpool 2 without very Yeah, I, I, I saw that and I think it's been causing a lot of traffic in Lagos. There's actually this traffic banner. Traffic is it on the third minute of the bridge? Yeah. Huh? 
Oh my goodness. It's just about traffic. No, it's now. Mickey. Tell me. You're not wearing your caps today, I understand. When you're you wearing said your caps, it has sense. I only know. So you're not wearing the caps because you're without sense. I okay. understand. Some senseless. No, I just said you're without sense. You're two different okay, things. Hold on, hold on. Being without hold sense on. and being senseless. I'm senseless. Very soon now, I'll become lazy. Yes, because if you're senseless, you become lazy. It's not good. You see, you see. That's so the president was actually referring to me. You have to get close to me so you can have sense. So hold on. So the president was actually referring to me when he said that. No, 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 no. Of course, everyone's entitled to their opinion. He was probably referring to. I don't know. I don't know. Deadpool is an amazing movie. That I can't yes, to you guys need to check out that movie. Like I saw that as well. I'm like, okay. I, I'm waiting for this movie. I am waiting. I, once I travel out, you know, to the United Kingdom, uh, the first thing is to go to the cinema. And sad thing is, uh, one of the stunt women in the movie that's talking about it, Joy S. J. Harris, died during filming. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Well, sad that. one. Very sad. And after all How this, she? I, 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 I wouldn't say, but I'll definitely, definitely give you guys a posted on that. And of course, um, talking about Deadpool, we hope the month, the the movie will get to break in as much money as, as Black Panther, Black Panther, yeah, Black 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 Panther. But seriously, I, I, I think I think I think that movie is overrated. I'm sorry. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. Of course, so you know, Black Panther is the, well, has become the fourth highest gross income movie so. Yes, yes, so I learned. It has written millions billions. of sorry. Yes, billions. Billions, yeah. billions of dollars. So billions much of dollars. I think they just spent just uh, some hundreds of dollars to make it up. It's a good thing anyways, of course. Whatever you go into, you're all out to make profit. So if the profit comes, you know, suddenly and then it comes way more than you imagined. I think it's a good thing. So now, we're looking out now for Black Panther. Black Panther. Black Panther. Okay, Black Panther. Black Panther. Now, it's, um, the limited production cost of the movie was $200 million. And in the first four days of the release, it crossed four hundred and twenty. million. Yeah, yeah, I, I was aware. I'm just asking myself, God, why didn't you give me this idea? He said so. It was right. I was right. I was right about him all the while. In it four days, happen. make a movie in four days. Mm. Four hundred. But God did not did you? see you to put that sense inside. And he didn't see you too. No, I have my own field. Which field? <laughs> I have a you field. Forgot. I have you a forgot. field of cattle. <laughs> you forgot that we are in the same category here. Yeah? He didn't see me. He didn't see you. So, my dear, we are here together. No, yeah. The truth is, he actually spoke with me and asked me. You told him you didn't want. <laughs> you are lazy. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be wrapping it up right here. It has been the movie reviews uh, segment on how to have fun entertainment. Yeah. By the way, don't get it twisted. Uh, we'll be here definitely with when, more stories. Yeah, more stories. I more entertainment stories, basically, mm -hmm. as well as more uh, movies. Now, for these movies that have been reviewed, if you think you like it by the sound of. Uh, by what we have said about it. It's about this information we've given. By the sorry. information. <laughs> sorry, she, she. Yeah, my mind is in the UK. I'm just, you know, I'm here in sensitive. Nigeria. I'm just, I'm just trying not to be lazy like Nigerian youth. But yeah. here's the thing: if you love the movie, you love what we have said about it. It has caught your attention. Watch just, out for it. Let's yeah, sure watch out for it. It's the weekend already. Let us know what you think of it. Go to the cinemas. And of course, when you do watch it, let, let us know. in on your thought. Your, if you think it's overrated, if you think that me liking Mike is Ruiz movie is overrated, let me know. But I do think you'll enjoy it though. As well as Deadpool. I think Deadpool, Deadpool is an amazing movie. It's amazing. You yeah. just have to love it. You just have to watch it. I, I, I think my best mm -hmm. character there is Cable. Okay. Yeah, I, I I haven't seen it. You've not seen, you've not seen the trailer? No. You're senseless. You're lazy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you guys some other time. Don't forget to let us in your thoughts, your opinions, and of course your suggestions on all of our social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, <coughs> Facebook, and YouTube. It is How to Have Fun Entertainment. True. Sure. My name is Mickey, the cap man. Without his cap, Yeah. Is. Without my cap, I think I even make more sense. Because if I wear that cap, I think I get to lose my sense. Yeah. 
Is that why he has refused to come out of the drinking aspect? So just leave me. Is leave me drinking aspect? Any day you see me in that camp. But he's been there for over a week. And they said they're, they're trying to wash off certain things from it. They're trying to wash off generational, the, generational uh, causes. Uh, so, I don't know. So you have generational causes? For I, the, I, I don't know. This is why he's been lazy. Causes. Yeah, is am I lazy? You are lazy. Do you think I'm lazy? I think we should actually do a poll. Who do you think is this between the girls? Me? See you guys. You think it's you think it's easy to wear <laughs> this hair? Please don't tell me I'm lazy. <laughs> we'll catch you guys some other time. And of course, do not forget to go to our social media platforms: Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Let us in on your thoughts and of course if there's a movie you think we haven't reviewed for those who may want to see the movie let us in let us know uh, let us know what the movie is my name is deborah and i've been with the capless mickey ladies and gentlemen she's going to be traveling very soon so. to the united kingdom i guess you guys cook it stingy somebody cookies have <laughs> two candles lights camera action superstar superstar superstars out what would become of a talent without a platform to showcase it? What would become of a passion for movies, music or entertainment without an avenue to explore it? And what would become a good act in script writing, acting, makeup or realizing that dream of being a member of a creative crew without an avenue to explore it? The answer is simple with how to have fun entertainment and Rolandsky Media Studio. That dream of being in the limelight and becoming a superstar is just one step away. Call on 0903-338-3239 or 0708-639870 to be part of the team. Powered by how to have fun entertainment and Rolandsky Media Studio. That's